Well, hello there, YouTube. Yep, it's recording. Today is Saturday. Oh my gosh, what is it? I worked this morning. Anyway, it's Saturday. It's in May. And um, got my work done. Oh gosh, I guess it was yesterday. And I bought spark plugs for this thing. Oh my gosh, a long time ago. I ordered spark plugs. I just never put it in. Put them in. It's, changing spark plugs on a gold wing is simple. The only thing that was makes it a little bit more tedious are these Ergo 2 highway pegs. You got to take those off and put them back on. You got to take those off to get those bolts out to get at the spark plugs. You just take the center, two center ones out and then the three bottoms and that whole thing pops off. You don't need to take the top off. And it was an easy, easy, uh, easy install. But I did notice um, when I took the old ones off, they weren't as tight as I would normally torque them. Uh, I think when I changed them before, you have to really flatten that that crush washer because it's uh it's it's not flattened so i made sure to do that on this one on the new install and they i should have tightened them back up but i put some um i haven't done this before i put some dielectric grease around the threads and then put them in so they would uh maybe a little easier to well, they're not hard to get out, but I took the old plugs out. They weren't bad. They're not bad at all. This this Goldwing doesn't go through plugs very bad, so they were actually usable. I just um, apparently I, I think I, I gapped them at 35 instead of 30, and I gapped these at 35 too. But maybe they I, I put the my little gap measurement thing in the old ones, and they were a little bit wider. So I don't know if they if they changed or if I didn't gap them. But this thing's running really, it's always run really good, but it's, uh, since I take care of this thing so much, I keep track of every record that I do maintenance on this thing. Oil changes and what miles I did the oil changes and, you know, I'm at 91, 194 and this thing just purrs like a kitten. There's zero noise in the motor. It's just like, like brand new sounding, but I do change the oil every 4,000 miles, so. That's why it's, uh, it's probably lasting me so, well, these things last a long time anyway, but that's why it's so quiet and I completely trust it going anywhere on it. Even if I rode it 3,000 miles, I trust it. Bah. Oh, we've been getting an unbelievable amount of rain. I think it rained pretty much all of May. We had some breaks like this that, that it stopped raining, but it's been like this for the entire month of May and, and it's oh what is it it's June I'm sorry I said May but it's June maybe oh uh, wait so Tuesday's the 8th so 7 6 it's June 5th I think 5th 6th yeah June 5th and it's still we get ungodly amounts of rain I've been draining my pool like every other day I drained it, I, I forgot it, and I left it running to drain into the yard, and it went just barely, you know, the skimmers were out of reach, and I'm thinking, oh crap, I forgot I left it on, but it wasn't much longer. A day later, it's back up to normal, which I'm glad I, I really let too much out, because I'm draining that thing like every every other day or every two days whenever it stops raining and maybe the sun might come out for a little while. I can't believe the weather we've had this year in Texas. It's kind of crazy. So I'm glad I can't go on a go on a long trip because I, I wouldn't trust the weather. It's just been so bad. Bye. 